We've come to the Colchester European Tech Centre in Elland, um, and everyone knows Colchester for the manual lathes, but you guys do so much more than that. Isn't that right, Keith? Yes. Rowan, welcome to, uh, to Elland in West Yorkshire. Uh, what you'll see today is our whole facility, um, production, showroom, the office, the backup, what's behind us, stores, where our machines come in and where they go out. And everyone's seen a Colchester machine tool definitely on pro almost every shop floor in the UK, but it's hard to remember. You guys actually, you're an active business here, you're running, you've been going for a very long time, which we'll see a little bit later. Um, but first of all, let's talk about your older machines. Yes, right. th th this is one of our uh, very first machines, well, an early machine. Um, it's circa 1900. It's a Harrison treadle lathe. So you'd get here with the with your with your foot, and you'd be you'd be act you'd be yep. actuating the the feed and also the spindle yeah, with your I, with your feet. I, I find it amazing that somebody could actually operate with that with that with their feet and turn the handles. And that'd at the take same a time. lot of skill, that wouldn't it, to operate? Definitely, definitely. Well, yeah, hats off to the engineers from the 1900s. Exactly. But let's talk about a bit more about the history, and then let's go up to the present day. So. First of all, you guys have got um, four so well-known brands here. You've got the Colchester, the Harrison Lays. Klausing is your milling, milling side? Yeah, anything non-turning, really. Milling, drilling, grinding, sawing. And Pratt Bernard, if people Pratt Bernard, work holding, work holding, chucks. Everybody knows a Pratt Bernard chucks. And the tool change as well for your the tool post for your, for your yeah, manual yeah, lathes. Yeah. Okay, so we've also got a timeline of it. So let's go and have a quick look at um, where Colchester started, which was... Yeah, George Cohen started the business in, in uh, 1834 um, as a scrap metal dealer, really. Um, and then where are you guys now? We're, we're, there's so such a long timeline here. Various uh, incarnations, Colchester and Harrison were bought, Claus in bought, uh, Pratt Bernard are in there, right the way up to present day, uh, 2021, uh, last year, we, uh, we set up Colchester GmbH in Germany. So you guys have gone through so many different evolutions of branding, of product types, but now it's all about the Harrison, Colchester, Klausing and Pratt Bernard. Definitely, yeah. I mean, it's such well-known brands and they're all under one roof here. Brilliant. So where are we going next? So we're going to go through into uh, the stores area and the goods inwards uh, to see where the, where the machines come in. Wow. One thing you'll notice when you, you look at the goods in area is how many machines you've got in stock right now. Yeah, this is just part of our stores, really, when the machines come in. Uh, they're checked over, make sure there's no damage, everything's okay, everything's got, you know, the machine's got what it uh, should have on it. Um, start off with the smaller machines down there, uh, just get gradually bigger as they go up. Um, and then we've got some of the alpha machines you can see here. And, and in fact, there's the, uh, the three metre um, Mastiff that we've got in stock. Which, which is um, a massive manual lathe. Yeah. I mean, look at the length of the parts you could get on that. It's absolutely yeah, incredible. Definitely. I mean, normally they're two metres, that's a three metre version. Is that something you pride yourselves on here at Colchester? is the, the amount of stock you have. Yeah, I mean, we, you never know what a customer's going to ask for. And, um, you know, we've got such a wide range and we have to keep that range in stock. Yeah, exactly. And I guess what kind of lead times do you expect from, from your suppliers? Um, it's like anything that comes from the Far East. Uh, obviously, there's time on the water, etc. So we have to plan that into, uh, into the process. But once they're in here and uh, they're on site, we can call them off quite quickly to get through into production. And you've got a lot of machines going through the production here. What happens in this area? Well, this is where the machines come out of our stores when they're called off for production. Uh, each machine is tested, uh, any ancillary equipment to put on, any options and accessories. We do uh, bespoke options as well where they can be fitted. Um, for instance, we've got one of our small 1350s, an Alpha 1350, the, the little baby of the range. Um, exactly the same control, exactly the same features as you would have on a bigger machine. So the Alpha 1550 here. Yeah, so opposite is the 1550, but this is actually a driven tool version, so it's an XC, two metres between centres. So that'll, uh, that'll be shimmed, the uh, turret will be being shimmed up, uh, it'll run through its test, uh, all the um, operations are done on it, yeah. So is that how you make sure that every machine you send out is a good machine, has absolute uh, good alignment and fits, yeah. meets all tolerances? Full, full PDI, full accuracy checklist, etc. yeah. Five. And then working through, we've got Manual machines either side, down here, anything from a small student, triumphs. So your engineers can handle either the alphas or the, or the manual lathes or the turret mills? Yeah, all multi-skilled and we, we, you know, we, we get teams of people around, the electricians do their job. Because yeah, um, there's a lot of different aspects to getting a machine ready, there's the electrical commissioning and the mechanical commissioning and making yeah. sure that everything fits All the right. safety features as well, we do, we, we do quite a few enhanced safety features now, there's quite a few companies are, are looking for that, especially um, schools and colleges and education. Yeah. yeah, so you've stuff like leaving chuck keys in and, yeah, and, yeah. and grinding grinders with covers yeah, yeah. on. 
Um, and these are um, uh, four of our turret mills. Again, a very popular machine in, um, in both education and industry. And there's such a different construction between the alphas and the manual lays, and then obviously between the manual lays and the turret mills. We've so been, you need very skilled engineers to be able to commission any of these at any given time. Yeah, we've been building machine tools for hundreds of years, well, over a hundred years. So, uh, yeah, very, very multi-skilled. So we're here in the machine shop, but what kind of parts do you make in-house? Things you can see in front of us are adapter plates to go on, uh, on chucks that uh, can fit on any machines. Loads of different sizes. Right? And that helps you support your customers? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we keep those in stock as well, so we need to keep that um, you know, turned over. And, and it gives uh, the, the customer what they want, when they want it. And why is it important to make these parts in-house? What does that help you do? We can control the quality, the lead times, etc. Um, and, and it's made on our machines. You know, we, we, we're testing our machines all the time. And that's the most important bit. This, these are all supplied by Colchester Machine Tools. Yeah, they're all part of our product range. Um, behind us, you can see um, slant bed Typhoon range. Uh, this side is, a, is an Alpha 1550 three axis, an XC machine. Um, and then there are various other machines. There's a Storm uh, VMC. Uh, and then we've got some of the manual machines, the, uh, an M300. Uh, we've got uh, pillar drills, saws, grinders, uh, anything within the claws in range we can, uh, we can supply. So you so see all of these different products are supplied by Colchester Machine Tools. You can tool out a whole machine shop. Yeah, one-stop shop. The only thing that's missing here I see is there's no laser etcher. No, they, that goes next door for that. Exactly, that goes in the yeah, clean room. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. So uh, that's, that's you guys making stuff in-house. Where are we going next? We're going to go into our stores facility. So that is all spares and service. So not for production. Wow, look at the size of this place. It, everywhere you go, this size of this warehouse amazes me. But you must have a lot of parts in this service space yeah, department. We've, we've got about four and a half million pounds worth of spares here in, in here at any one time, ranging from lead screws, bearings, chucks, gears, anything that you could wish for on, on machines. That are going back 30, 40 years as well, we're still supporting those machines. That's amazing because it must obviously cost cost some cash to uh, keep those old old spares. How often do they do they, do they get asked for? Well, very rarely on occasions. And but the thing is, if a customer's got an old machine, he's, he's got it for a reason because the reliability of it, and he wants to keep it going. And that's why we try and uh, support him. So it's nice for customers to know that if they buy a machine till now, hopefully in 40 years, you guys will still have the spare parts for it. Exactly, and especially where some of the designs haven't changed, you know, we're still, you know, the, the, the parts are still the same. So yeah, we keep them. That's amazing. What I find fascinating is if they buy a new machine, they can still fit all the old steadies. So you guys can keep steadies that have been around for 10 years yeah, and you can yeah. refurbish them if you need to and you can fit them to a new machine. Any of the options and accessories that are in the, the catalogue in, in our price list, they're in here as well. So we keep a good stock of those. Yeah, which you guys obviously pride yourself on having stock of machines and also stock of spares and, and catalogue items. Yeah, and we can get these out same, same day. You know, you get your order in before half two, three o'clock. Uh, you'll have it next day sitting on your desk. Brilliant, right. Now we've seen service support, we're going to go to the tech centre now and see all the fantastic new tech that you guys have got. Brilliant. Wow, and the tech centre really is packed with some technology. Now I've never seen these Alpha machines in up close and personal before, and you've got two on the shop floor. What, which, what, what kind of models are these? Yeah, welcome to the showroom. Um, this is the second size up, this is a 1400 XS, so it's a two axis machine based on a Triumph. Uh, the next machine over there is a 1550. And then we go 1660, 1760, so a massive range. We've and only got two in the showroom now. And there's loads of options for, for this, these kind of semi-CNC conventional machines. They've got the beautiful conventional construction, but also with a, with a really nice fan yeah. of control. Yeah, manual tool post, or you can have a, a, an auto turret on there, but all with either uh, fan of control, or we do the Colchester multi-turn that's got the Siemens control so on So there's it. lots of options for the control side as well as just the, loads the, the of variety, construction yeah. side. Yeah, Let's go have a quick look at the other alpha you've got which this is an XC now what's the difference between that and so the an last one? An XS is a two axis machine uh, the XC is a three axis so we've got a C axis on the spindle and driven tool capability so it gives you the ability to finish a part in one go. And you can see it's quite a big driven tool how many tools can you fit on this? This is an eight station um, uh, turret all, all stations are, are driven on the smaller machines and then four on some of the bigger machines. Which is amazing, you can fit eight tools on, on a semi-CNC. You could do a lot of part, lot of different parts with that kind of yeah, machine. Yeah, saves change in the tools, yeah. And yeah. then on this side, obviously Colchester, well known for the manual lathes. Now, why do you have so many manual lathes on show here? We have a big range. I mean, it's a big part of our business. People know us for our center lathes, right from the, the student, Harrison M300, right up to the, the mascot, Mastiff, and even the Magnums. We don't tend to put the Magnums in, the, in here, though, they're too big. 
And how come you've got, um, so all the machines here, are they all, are they all in stock? Are they all available? Yeah, all, everything you can see here is for sale for one thing, and everything that we've got in here is definitely for in stock as well. So we've and the, got replacements. And yeah. just the size of the manor as well, it's not just the little students that everyone remembers doing their apprenticeship on. No. You've got the mascot and also the mastiff, you have a three meter in stock as well, which takes massive parts. Yes, definitely. Um, the, the, they're a big part of our range, the bigger uh, machines, more robust, bigger heavy duty cutting. That's what we're known for. And there's, uh, there's actually a spindle on the, on the lathe here, but um, can customers come here and, and, and do demonstrations with their own parts? Yeah, we can do a demonstration for them. They're, the manual machines, they can come and use the machines. We can give them some material. They can do some cutting as well. Uh, specifically on the alphas, we do a bespoke uh, demo for them. They can bring their own parts and we do some cutting trials as well for them. So that helps them to see that the tech that you show here is not just for show, it does exactly what it says on the tin. It's got the, the standard uh, Colchester robust ac accuracy and repeatability. Yeah, uh, and we also train people here as well. We can use this as a training facility. So if a customer wants to train on his site, he can, or he can send his guys up to us and uh, we can train them up here okay. in a nice, quiet environment. Well, let's, let's keep going and talk about the, there's a VMC up here I want to talk about as well. But this being a tech center, I guess you guys need to do a bit of R&D as well. So what kind of work do you do here, here yourselves? Yeah, well, combined with our own uh, machine shop facility, we can develop machines. We, we do have a small development area as well where we're you know, slowly tweaking machines and, and gradually improving them and enhancing them. Um, so yeah. then we move that moves on to the, the Storm VMC. Now, for some people who've not looked at the Colchester range of VMCs, how what kind of options do you offer? Well, we, we start at 600 in the x-axis. We go right up to 1600. This is a, a 1050. So a really good, rigid, robust machine. Again, available in either a, a Fanuc or a Siemens. Um, really well loaded, BBT spindles, nice heavy duty machine. So you've got a stainless steel part here. Yeah, stainless steel. Uh, it's an eagle's head, actually. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> all done on 3D. Um, we can put rotaries on there, um, four and five axis if we want, um, trunnion type tables, yeah. And there's also lots of good features of standard, you've got air blast, you've got a wash gone, yeah. there's chip conveyors. So. MPG, chip conveyors, chip wash. Yeah. And also, just like the Alphas, you can get a Siemens controller there as well, which yeah. helps a lot of people. Some people have to love Siemens. Yeah, with, with, the shop, with the shop mill. They love it, yeah. Brilliant. And also, yeah. so we've looked at uh, semi-conventional, semi semi-CNC, we've looked at manual lathes. You've got manual mills as well, but CNC machines. And also, you've got laser etching as well, so it's almost like a one-stop shop. Yeah, for laser marking, yeah. Everything you make on there, we can mark on here, pretty Brilliant. much. Um, um, we've got the Class 1 lasers, which you can see here, entry level. We also do a Class 4 laser, so you can get much bigger parts in if you need to. And also, these class one lasers, these look like they're very, very um, compact machines as well. These look like they could get dropped on anywhere in your shop floor. You, you can put them in an office, it run off a 13 amp plug. So, yeah, desktop um, capability. People are using them in, in industry for, for part marking, traceability. We've even got them in uh, shops where they're marking pens and labels and dog tags, stuff like that. It's definitely a very comprehensive tech center. So, Rowan, we're now in the, uh, the office side of uh, Colchester Machine Tools. Uh, this is the support that we've got behind us. Uh, starting at the front end, we've got spares and service. You can ring these people up during office hours and uh, order your spares. Service, we've got a hot desk for mechanical and electrical, which is manned during office hours. Uh, we've then got our engineering department, which is design, both electrical and mechanical. Uh, we have our applications guys here, both based here and in another office. Uh, they're doing all the training, the uh, service uh, backup. Uh, if it becomes a technical uh, issue, uh, they also do turnkey uh, engineering. We've also got our accounts and purchasing, so money in and money out. Brilliant. And it's, these are almost all the business processes you don't see behind the scenes that make sure that that machine you, d you ordered arrives on time and your support all the way through your use of it. Now, the hot decks are, hot decks are obviously really important because if someone has a problem, they don't want that machine to be uh, down for at, at any time at all. Yeah, first point of call, give these guys a call. Nine times out of ten, they can solve it over the phone. If they don't, they can action an engineer. They can order some spare parts, get them to you the following day, and get the engineer on site straight away. So we've seen all the strong engineers and all the support staff that, that back up Colchester's Machine Tools brand. But you guys have got so many machines in stock. If you're interested, come up to Ellen to the Tech Centre to check it out, or get in touch with Keith or the rest of his sales colleagues.